Warning. The following program may contain foul fucking language, gory ass shit, or the occasional slow point because I can be a lazy fuck with editing. Viewer discretion is potentially advised, but also probably rejected. Greetings from the land of OP, I am Rob the OP Gamer, and I am bringing you episode number one of attempt number three of my ultra hardcore series. Shit, yes. So, basically, it's been a while since I've really done much in the way of videos, but I have been busy as fuck. I got a job, and then got another job, and then quit the first job, and just shit's been weird. I don't know, I've really been wanting to do some game with some uh, Minecraft but I wasn't really wanting to jump straight back into hardcore after the last couple of attempts but you know what I just don't have anything else to do right now I've run out of build spotlight ideas I want to do some more build spotlights but I'm in a little out of ideas at the moment and uh, we were gonna do a server play uh, Xavier has been working diligently on getting our mod pack updated and all that kind of good shit and he's developed a ruination pack which I mentioned at the end of the last attempt series and or season I should say and we were going to do that, but that just hasn't really been a thing. We just, our schedules just aren't meshing up for whatever fucking reason. So, like, I'll be doing work for, like, eons, and then he'll be gone for eons, and then just shit's not meshing up. I'm trying really hard to get it to match up, but shit's just not working. And holy fuck, there's a village right next door to where I started. Holy dick. I, I'm in a field next to a village. This is the most delicious starting area I've ever had in my life. Oh my god, what's that? Is that... Is that leaves just kind of chilling? Holy dick, we got flying leaves, guys. What the fuck? When did that happen? That's still oak leaves from Minecraft. When the... Fuck me. Holy dick. What did Xavier do? I haven't played in like two weeks, three weeks, and he's just up in here doing shit. Th well, damn. Is that a black chicken? No, it's just a chicken in the shadows. Okay, whatever. That would have been cool. Black chicken. There are forest trees... I want to... Ooh, an arms. I should not pass up these arms right here. That's going to be important later. Uh, there are some other fucking forest trees growing in world gen. When did that happen? From Darkcraft? Holy shit, what is this? Repulsion plant. That doesn't sound too good for safety, but I've already walked over it like six times without paying attention. I'm in a new hardcore series in an unfamiliar mod pack, and I'm just walking the fuck over shit without even giving a fuck. This seems dangerous to me. Why aren't you guys stopping me from doing this? I'm no good unsupervised. Is that bamboo shoots? What the dick is going on up in here? There are chickens everywhere, and there's cows back there, so at least I've got food. Bamboo shoot blocks. Okay. What's it do? Uh, let's see. Bamboo shoot use. Okay, we can make a bamboo bundle, and bamboo stairs, and an empty bamboo mug, and a bamboo slab, and... Uh, my thing is going off. And, let's see, a scuba. Oh, it's a snorkel. Fishing net. Um, bamboo chest. Encyclopedia Tropica. Item frame. Okay. Flower pot. And bamboo sticks. So, basically, it's another kind of, uh, wood, except for it can't do everything wood can do. Okay, cool, whatever. Don't give a fuck, there's plenty of wood around. That's a neat idea, but I don't see anything I can do with it that... I couldn't tell what that was until I figured out it was a chicken with a minecart on its head. Fucking hats mod. That's one mod that's just useless as hell and I could do without. I'm just telling you right now, guys. I know some people think it's cute and they love it, but I just... Nah. What do we got going on here? We got a swamp? This is just the most amazing start location I've ever had. Look, we got plains and field and fucking... Let's go see what kind of havoc I can wreck in this village over here. These cows are just all up in this. I should probably do something to make sure they don't get a... Ooh, oh. Those are important. Those are good for healing spells, guys. So, I don't think I'm going to open up with the magic start that I did the last couple times. I mean, I love Thomcraft and all, but that just armor just was, did not... I mean, it was, it was good, but it was just... I just... No, I just don't want to do it again. I'm actually going to go tech tech heavy as quick as possible. I think step one is going to be to... I'm, I'm going to try to... Cinnamon? 
What the fuck is... Oh, it's AP culture. Yeah, that's for food and stuff. Um, nuts to that. So... Is this just wind doing this? What the deal is this? Wind... And stuff. Oh, that doesn't look healthy. What's up in... Oh my god! Yeah, that's not healthy. Let's break this. I'll just punch this out. Can I not punch this out? Oh, fu Oh, wait. Yeah, it's, it's slowly cracking apart. We don't want this. I remembered something about these weird, like, little hay man guys and how there's badness underneath, so we're gonna get rid of this right now. But yeah, magic just... I, I love Thawncraft and what you can do with it, but it's just not good for protection. So I am going to probably start out with, um... Some, I'm gonna go tech heavy right off, I'm thinking. And then I will, um... Uh, yeah, we'll go tech heavy, and I will open up, in, or I will expand from some kind of tech into... That's helpful. Iron armor, force shard, that's good. Here's a spoils bag. Take this bucket of force. Fuck the saddle, we don't need no saddle. What's in here? Ooh, got bronze leggings. HSLA steel ingot? What the fuck is... Oh, there's a steel chest plate. Cool. Cool story, brothers. Piece of bread. Thorns. What the fuck do I need thorns for? Um... We'll wear that, we'll wear that. I'm just multicolored like a fucking carnival clown right now, guys. What is this used for? Uh, rotary craft. What the fuck is rotary craft? What has Xavier been doing when I haven't been paying attention? Holy shit! I'm gonna have to ask him about this. Uh, he's gonna watch this first episode and laugh his ass off. He's like, in your face, random new shit! See, I'm gonna go some kind of tech. I'm gonna loot this village and run away because I don't want everybody to die. I'd like them to despawn if possible. That's bees, I'll leave it up there. Fuck bees. I am so bad at bees. I don't even want to have anything to do with bees. Um, I'd kind of like to have the villagers not die off, but I don't really know of a way to save them immediately. Um, somebody might rage from that. I'll take this crafting table. Somebody might be, be like raging. They'll probably rage about that. They'll be like, what do you mean you don't know how to save them? Well, I don't. Sorry. I, kn I know that you can surround their village with walls and shit and keep them from like just dying, but I so not good at like doing anything with them at all ever so I'm just gonna pillage their town and run away that's my that's my that's my game plan right now after I get some tech going on I'm going to branch out into since when did potatoes only stack at 16 that's some bullshit hunger overhaul holy fuck that's from the agrarian skies shit right up in there what's this peanuts no oh, fuck peanuts Sweet potatoes, zucchini, white... I'll come back here for all this shit later. I'm just gonna get some basics going. Um, yeah, we're gonna, uh... I'll switch into Ars Magica after I get some tech going, because I like some armor. Do we have power suits? Was that a thing that he put in here? Power... Yes? Yes, okay, so we have power suits. So that's the direction I'm gonna go with power suits. Shaft... But what is this fucking rotary craft I keep seeing everywhere? And that's the IC2, because I fucking hate IC2. It needs to die in a fucking fire. They need to take Greg and everybody that took him in, and they just all need to be lined up and shot. I fucking hate IC2 and where it went. I used to like IC2. What happened to you, IC2? You used to be cool. I need a piece of dirt. Give me this dirt. Give me this dirt, bitches! And, um, basically, I need Ars Magica because a healing spell in Hardcore is just delicious. I think we have Sync as well. Do we have Sync? Let me go do, like, at Sync. Yeah, we do. This will be integral. I was trying to avoid this last two a couple of attempts, but I think if I put the work into it, it'll all be good, guys. Um, what it does is it gives you an extra... Sh oh, fuck that cinnamon. I keep picking that up. It gives you extra shells, like you clone yourself, and you can inhabit yourself. And it, if you make clones, like you, if you die, even in hardcore, you can just re-inhabit a different clone. So you lose all the shit, but you get a new body and new life. So as long as you keep making clones, you can basically live forever. Um, and that's going to be sort of my game plan here, and that sort of, I, like, I've, I've sort of been going back and forth on that, I'm like, that sounds fucking awesome, but it also sounds kind of like it might dis defeat the spirit of a hardcore game to me, like, hardcore game to me is like, oh, let's see what you can do and how long you can live before you die and shit, but then if you, like, have a way to escape death, doesn't that just seem like that's just a way to cheat, guys? I mean, seriously, like, don't you think that that could just easily just undo everything you're striving for, like... You're, you're like, you're like, yeah, I want to be a badass and live, right? And then, like, overcome everything. But then you're like, oh, but now I have an extra life, so you might as well just play on regular mode? That's kind of how I felt about it for a long time. 
and then I just thought about some more, more and more. It's like, well, you do still have to put the work in, uh, to be completely fair. Work still has to happen. You can't just up and grant yourself lives. You still have to run around and make the clone, make the items, make the, uh, make the uh, infrastructure. I am getting hungry as fuck really fast. This overhaul, this hunger overhaul is really just... Can I do anything with this? It's fucking brutal, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Can I make a hay bed? No, I can... Oh, I can turn... Whoa, I can turn that into nine wheat. I'll come back for that shit. Assembly table, spinning wheel. No, that's not gonna help me out. I was trying to hope that I could get, like, some, uh... Oh, God. That could have been terrible. I was hoping that I could get, like, some wool off the lanterns that they've put around villages and make a bed, but I'm not finding really any lanterns, and I didn't see any sheep. Was this the one I came in here already? Yeah, I did. Okay, that's the one. Um, oh, nice. Farmer root. We need that. We'll need that later. Okay, so, basically I'm eating raw potatoes for the time. Well, you know what? I could just make some bread. I'll make some bread. I'm pretty sure you can just, is, can you still craft bread? Is it? Yeah, that's a thing. Okay, cool. And these only stack at eight? Oh, come on! What the dick is that all about? Fuck that. Oh, I'm sour. I am so sour right now. There's the well-fed buff going on. Okay, I remember how that works. So, like, basically, hunger overhaul makes you get hungry, like, really fucking fast. And by really fucking fast, I mean it gives you, like... I might have to hide in this village. This sun is already going down. It makes you have to um, eat on a regular basis. Like, as if, like, because, you know, in Minecraft, normally you would just go eons and eons and eons and eons. Right, without getting hungry, and then suddenly you get hungry. Oh, there's sheep. Quit, sweet. We need to get some of this sheep going on. I need to get over there and get some sheep before, like, zombies happen. That's, that's, that's a goal. But yeah, so this makes it so you have to actually eat in much, a much more regular fashion. So, basically you get hungry quicker, and you have to eat, like, two or three times per Minecraft day, which is only ten minutes. So you're eating every two to three minutes, basically, like, real time. And it's just terrible. Like, I... It adds challenge, and I'm all for that. But, like, it's just... It's bad, like... Okay, where... I should have got some wood. If you know what I mean. So I'll grab some of this really quick. I'm pretty sure I can make a plank out of some of this. Let's do this as quick as we can, and maybe I can throw down a bed, and then... Oh, shit, there's a zombie already. Motherfuck. Okay, let's see how quick I can... Nope! Fuck. Oh god! He, he didn't knock back! What the hell was that? Oh, fuck you and your ass. Oh god. Is there one behind me? No? How did he just spawn and run up so quick? I barely had time to do anything. God. Oh, this this attempt is gonna end really quick, guys. I can tell you that right, right now. Okay, let's see if we can... Alright, let's do this. And, oh god, clicking this is painful. There's a bed, and we'll get this bed down, and we will sleep. Oh my god. That was nerve-wracking as shit, I'm gonna tell you guys right now. Okay. So... What the f- Oh my god, there's special mobs. Holy shit. Oh, this is- this is going all the way bad right now. Holy fuck. So, I didn't know Xavier was- Oh, you bastard, Xavier. You motherfucker! I can't believe you did that. Actually, maybe I think I told him to do that now, come to think of it. But there's special mobs that give us a property. Like, anybody that plays Diablo 3, um, or even Diablo 2, I think they had it in Diablo 2. I don't remember Diablo 1. It was too, way too fucking long ago. I was like 8 years old or some shit. Um, anybody who's played Diablo is familiar with running into champion mobs that have a couple of properties assigned to them, like Mortar and, uh, like Frozen and all that kind of shit, and they, like, fuck you over because they're bitches. Uh, basically, it's the same deal here, except for... Oh my god. Any one monster, any one special monster can have something on the order of like 8 or 8 to 12 properties, I think. Don't quote me on that figure, guys. That could be a complete fucking lie. But I know they can have a lot. And they will just rape your ass for, for all the time forever, basically. And uh, it's a bad time. It is a very bad time. So, you basically just don't want to ever... Like have anything to do with them as much as you can. That Enderman I can I've never seen an alternate skin for him though with the special mobs. Like that's a new thing. So I guess I don't even know what I want to do here guys. I'm just trying to live right this second. That's all I'm trying to do. Here's some sticks. And let's get ourselves a 
I guess I can throw back some of the shit into that chest in there, so I'm gonna take- I'm gonna just take over this village, I think. That's what's gonna happen right now. Um, need more planks, though. So... I'm just gonna throw all this shit in this chest right here. And what else? These ingots can go in here, that can go in there. I don't even know why I got thorns, I don't even need those for anything. Um, we'll throw all this shit in there. Oh no, I need my bread. I'll keep my bread out here. Um, this is some extra food. Here's those I can put. I'll just put all the shit in there. Whatever, it all fits. Uh, we'll get rid of this. We don't need this here. We don't need this here. Come on. You fucking fence post. Uh, here's some stairs. Fuck these stairs. Please tell me this is actually a plank and not just some... Yeah, it's planks. Okay, oak wood planks. Thanks, Wayla! You're not always helpful, but you were this time, so, you know. Oh, good. Well, I have a pressure plate, but I have nothing to do with. Okay, so we will... Um, I need a few more planks. I'm just gonna hollow this shit out really quick here. I don't really want to go chopping trees right this second. So I'm gonna do this. And we are going to just make a fucking... Oh, shit! Xavier, motherfuck! Damn it all to hell! Son of a bitch! Ah! Me, god damn! Shit ass bitch fuck! Oh my god, he disabled vanilla tools! Fucking A! Oh my god, dude. Oh! I have to go fucking open with Tinker's Construct because there's no vanilla tools! Holy shit! Oh my god, he did this! That fuck! Xavier, I hope you're watching because I am swearing at your ass so hard right now! Holy god damn it! Okay, so for those of you who are unfamiliar with this, <laughs> if I look up, like, picks, let's just say, like, and I wanted to make a pick, all these vanillas, I'll hit R, like, listen really, re listen really close, you can hear me type in the fucking... So they've got recipes, right? But you can't actually, well, this one doesn't have a recipe. Uh, cobblestone one, no recipe. Uh, iron one has a recipe, I guess, diamond, I guess, does, gold does. But, like, most vanilla tools, like the really early on game ones, they don't have recipes. Look, there's, you can just get them out of a scrap box. That's it. So there's nothing I can do. Like, I can't... Unless I just popped myself, like, some iron... Can I craft that chest piece? Actually, you know what? That would be worth it. I would do that right now. Xavier, I hope, for your sake, I didn't just find a loophole, because I was... Can I use this to make iron ingots? What's this? A force rod. Okay. Oh, wait. Wait a second. Wait a second, wait a second. I can blast from this head into steel ingots. That's cute. Oh my god. Recipe. Okay, four sticks. Nuggets and ingots. Okay guys, check this out. This is what we're gonna do. Just to throw this in Xavier's face, I'm going to not open with Tinker's Construct because I just kinda wanna get going. He has been taken forever and now he's not around. I was gonna start up a build spotlight, or a, not a build spotlight, a server play with him. I'm gonna go back over here and find some forest trees. And I'm gonna see really quick, because when you mine a forest tree, you get a couple things. You can get forest wood, which gets the forest sticks. Uh, forest planks, then forest sticks, obviously. And then you get uh, forest saplings, so you can plant more forest trees. But more, most importantly, what they do for you is they drop forest nuggets occasionally. Which, if you just saw the recipe I just did, will give you the force rod, stuff you need for the force rod. If I can get ten nuggets, right, that's all I'm going to need, right? So let's see how many nuggets I can get out of one tree here. Well, those leaves broke really quick, didn't they? So there's a tree, there's a, there's a, there's a log. There's a log. I don't remember if the nuggets sometimes come from, uh, chopping trees or not. It's really wacky that these are world gen now, because it used to be that these, to get these trees, oh, the, oh they, they leak out of the, oh, that's two right there. They leak out of the saplings, that's delicious, I saw an arm over here. To get these trees, it used to be that you would have to, uh, create force ingots out of, um, world gen force things? What's the force things that force gives you? Ah, uh, shit. Feeling so bad. Force gems. And you could combine those with other ingots and get forcing it's that way but that would involve mining which you would need tools and I'm trying to get uh, to the tools right now anyway so it's kind of it's kind of nutty to me that we added these forest trees I don't know if Xavier did this if he added the trees to the to the world gen the forest trees or if that was a uh, change in an update to Darkcraft and he just didn't catch it but I am totally exploiting a glitch right now bitches 
Right this second, I'm going to exploit this like crazy. I don't even give a fuck. I give look at all the forest trees, guys. There's like a bunch over there in that direction. There's a bunch over there in that direction. I'm gonna exploit the shit out of this. In your face, Xavier. In your fucking face. Yes. Alright. So what's gonna happen is I'm going to I'm pretty sure I'm like 99% sure this is gonna work. Um I'm gonna plant some extra forest trees because these are also useful for other things. Um, if you take these saplings and you click use, you can see, oh, smelt these into wooden ash. I don't know what you do with that. Oh, they make plant balls. That's cool. Uh, they can be compressed into compressed balls, redstone furnace, lacerator, sifter. Okay, so you can... Oh, they got nerfed again. They used to give a full bucket. So when four saplings first were a thing, um, in terms of fermenting them through forestry, you could get three full buckets of biomass out of fermenting one forest sapling. And then they got nerfed like crazy, like Asnor, no, not Asnor, fuck. Um, oh, that's a nerd fail right there, guys. Uh, the guy that does far uh, farming, forestry, god damn it, so much nerd fail. Um, he was like, nope, fuck that. There ain't gonna be no three buckets. Um, so he nerfed it down to one bucket. So for a long fucking time, it was one bucket. Now, three buckets is nuts. I mean, that's seriously, like, ridiculous. And I was happy because it was ridiculous. Because you guys, you guys know me. I like to do things as OP as possible. Um, so if I back this up here a little bit. What kind of fermenter is this? That's weird. Oh, you can make a arborist chest with that. That's cool. Um, so if we, if we mulch this with mulch, this is 1.5, and then if we use liquid peat instead of water, because you have to put water in here, uh, liquid peat will get us 0.75, and then veggie juice will get us 0.75. So it used to be a lot more than that. It used to be three buckets and, and five or six, I think, and then that got nerfed to one bucket and three buckets, and then I was like, that's still kind of OP, so I like it, but now it's not any better or worse than any other sapling, really. I mean, well, it's, it's better than some. I mean, vanilla trees... Like, oak saplings and shit give you .01 buckets. So, basically one millibucket. Or no, wait, one ten millibuckets. Sorry. Uh, so this is still half a bucket, which is still a good amount, but it's still not enough to really power a lot on. Because if you think about it, like a biomass engine, right? Uh, when you get biofuel in that bitch, you get like one bucket of biofuel out of... Uh, I think it's... It's one bucket of biofuel out of like 1.25 buckets of biomass, or something approximate to that. That's not an exact figure. I don't keep all these numbers in my head, but it's it's it, there's a little you lose a little bit in translation basically during the process of refinement, whether or not you use stills or uh, refineries. Either way, you still little you still lose a little bit out of that. Uh, so basically, you got to compensate for that loss, and one bucket of biofuel gets used up pretty quick. Actually, it doesn't do as much as it used to. Or it does as much as it used to, but I think the mechanics changed a little bit. Let me try something really quick here. I'm going to go with, um... What the fuck? Uh, biofuel, sorry. No, it's ethanol now. God damn it. All these fucking changes. I could barely keep up. So, one bucket or can of ethanol says, In a force engine fuel, 2.0 millijoules per tick for 60,000 ticks. Uh, what else? Compression dynamo, 0.5 million, so 500,000 RF in a compression dynamo. 16,000 heat liquid fuel boy firebox, 32,000 EU, semi-fluid general, combustion engine, that's what I was looking for. 4.0 millijoules a tick for 15,000 ticks in a combustion engine, or 5 in, an, in a biogas engine. I better drop this bed and sleep before a zombie walks up and chews my nipples off. That'd be a bad time. So basically, you get... Um, the, mo the more common things to use biofuel for, honestly, are going to be the biogas engine. Most people don't put them in combustion engines because combustion engines suck all the dick forever. Uh, most people are going to put them in a biogas engine, which isn't a bad way to go, but they only last for 40,000 ticks. Keep in mind, 20 ticks in a second. Uh, if we do some math on that really quick here. What is it? Uh, 40000... Divided by 200, that's going to be 200 seconds, which is going to be three and a third minutes. So one bucket's going to last you a little over three minutes. 
Now, when you keep in mind how long it takes to refine the shit, you have to ferment it. You have to have a giant fucking automated setup if you want to do it properly, right? So you gotta ferment it, and then you gotta translate it. There are chickens everywhere! Jesus, fuck! What the hell's with all these chickens? I should catch a bunch of them. Um... Give them a name, battle them, make them level up a little bit. Pokemon! Uh, so... You have to have the whole refinement process. Oh, there were more, more of those fucking things. Look at that! There was two right there on the edge. I missed them completely when I was trying to get Bull to make my fucking bed. Uh, how many times did I walked past those guys? Were you guys paying attention? I wasn't. So you have the whole giant process to make your, uh, your... Ferment your... Oh, that's nice! Essence! Yes! Oh, I'm getting distracted as fuck, guys. I'm trying to explain this shit. There's essence right here. I get into Ars Magic almost, like, almost instantly. So you refine the shit, and there's like a process, right? So it goes through the fermenter, and then that goes into the uh, still. And it takes a few minutes. It takes a good... It actually takes a good little bit to come up with a full bucket of biogas. Trust me on this. And it's really just... You need a giant setup, and it's really not that easy to keep up with even one biogas engine, let alone an array of them to make a decent amount of power. So... Yeah, it's just not worth it, in my opinion. To go with biogas. So, nuts to that. All the nerfing that happens, they try to balance things and balance things and balance things and balance things. I'm all, I'm all for balance, don't get me wrong. I like to have everything balanced, but I like to be able to work up to being god tier. Like, I know people are like, oh yeah, god tier, why even play the game and blah blah blah, and you're just gonna like, you know, be super powered and all that stuff, we don't want to give the game away and everything, and I get that, I do. I do. Uh, but in my opinion, there's go there comes a point in which you're bored. Right? That's that's the nature of every game ever that's ever come about or ever been invented, is eventually you get the fuck bored, right? Eventually you're like, enough, I just want to go blow some shit up. That's what every game ultimately, I think, degenerates into. Eventually you just want to go, go blow some shit up, right? Eventually you just want to go and just be god tier and feel awesome about yourself before you start over. And I think you should be able to work up to god tier, I really do. I don't think it should always be balanced forever. I think there should become a point when you become re infinite resource man, for example, you should be able to make some shit. So nine of these force nuggets is going to make us our ingot. We're going to do one of these and one of these. Hopefully you guys caught the stick recipe. If not, well, nuts to you. I'll put these away and these away. And we're going to take this fuck and we're just going to craft this bitch. Bow, seven ingots. And we're going to put three across the top here and do two down. And look at that iron pickaxe. In your face, Xavier. In your fucking face. Let's make an iron sword, too, because why the dick not, right? So there's our iron sword. Um, yeah, that's a thing that happened. So, I thought about making a shovel for a second there, but I think that'd be a little bit of a waste. So we got a sword and a, and a pick. That's totally good enough. In your face, Xavier! Yeah! So we don't have a lot of time left. Really, I've got about three or four minutes. So really what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to show you... I'm basically just going to stop the recording pretty quick here and just pick it up again in a few minutes like almost instantly really um, so what we're gonna do is there's plenty of gravel because this is a village so I'm just probably gonna pick up a lot of this gravel off the ground I'll probably do some of that between camera stakes really I'm not gonna just instantly turn off and then turn back on like I do sometimes between episodes I'm going to pick up some of this gravel like some of this like loose shit I'll probably tear up the road completely and replace it with dirt to be completely honest with you that's probably what's gonna happen so I'll probably do a bunch of takes uh, or not takes god damn it I'll probably do a bunch of picking up of gravel with my fist the whole time that I'm off camera. And there's not a whole lot of sand here, but I think we got, yeah, there's bits of it all along this riverbank. There's some over here, some down here. There's another river down here. Look, all the sand. Oh, that's a giant hunk of sand. There's that water right there. And there's some in here. Um, yeah, there's plenty of sand around. And there's some clay in these riverbeds. Look, there's clay right there. And there's just clay all over the place. So I think what I'm going to do is, between camera takes, I'm going to go and um, get some shit ready for a smeltery. Because I do I do want to make a smeltery. Um, maybe I'll just do that anyway, really. I mean, I'll have to think about it between camera takes. I want to get into tech as soon as possible. But I need to mine. But I really don't... That's That iron's not going to last. This one pick right here, that's, that's not going to last. I just wanted it so I wasn't like having to dig up shit for a long time. I want to be able to mine everything as I dig. So, uh, yeah, that's a thing. So I'm going to do that. Oh, you know what? There's a node right here. Look at that. Thomcraft node. Uh, let me check something, though. Let's go pick. 
Now... Fuck! Stone pickaxe head can only be used to make casts, cannot be used to make a tool. Son of a bitch! Oh my god, so sour. I can make a wooden pickaxe head though, so that's 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 not bad. You know what? Before I could before I actually get rid of this, I should make a shit pick for digging dirt and crap. That way I don't that way I can save my iron pick for good stuff like real ores and stuff that I need. Let's see if we can do What other kind of pickaxe heads can we make here? What's this? Iron pickaxe? No, that's not gonna work. Flint pickaxe head. That might help us out. Let's see if we can get a piece of flint really quick here. No, I don't want to do flint. Yeah, I do. God damn it. Do I want to do flint? No, I think wood will be... Wood will be plenty good enough. Alright, so let's get some flint really quick here. This is going to take a few seconds here. Actually, wait a second. I can make a hammer. Let's make a hammer, guys. Do we have Nilo? I don't think so, actually. Uh, hammer? No? Maybe. Uh, that's force hammer, carpentry, yeah, that's tools. Yeah, we don't have ex nilo. Shit. Alright, so I'm doing this by hand. So let's see if we can get a piece of flint going on right here. It'll take a second. And then what we're gonna do also is after we get a piece of flint, I got a little bit of wood. Oh, this is gonna take a few seconds. Give me flint, you bitch! It always seems like when you're digging around and you like you're just actually mining to try to get like ores and shit. It feels like you run into flint every two fucking seconds. You're like, oh fuck, there's more flint, and you're like, I want to throw this flint away because I want to mine these ores here. But then when you actually need it, you're like, oh, I have no flint because there's no flint that exists ever. <laughs> shit. I think I can craft flint actually. Can we can we craft this into a flint? If I'm her, can I? Let's see, shapeless crafting. I seem to remember something. Yes! Oh my god. So happy right now. I'll just gouge out a piece of gravel right here. That'll work. Alright. And we are going to jump up here. And if we turn all this into wood. Let's turn this wood into wood, guys. And then we're going to make a chest. Actually, I don't need a chest yet. Uh, let's do the crafting table first. And if we... Oh man. I need sticks. I need more wood. This is going to be painful, guys. So, if we hit this up, and we get uh, two of these, and two of these, that's going to give us some blank patterns. And I'll put a blank pattern with this guy right here. Oh, wow, look at that. You can turn this immediately into a tool rod pattern. Look at that. Uh, that's going to be our tool station. And I'll stick that there, and I'll shove this book away, because fuck the book. This is going to be what's going to make us our tools. And then, let's see what else. I think it's just a straight wood... Just an actual wood. Yeah, it's getting dark soon. Uh, yeah. Nuts to this, uh... I'll, I'll fill this in with dirt or some cobblestone or something. They don't, I don't know why you put full logs around these. I don't even know why it's above ground, honestly. Having to jump up sucks. You might trample the fucking plants and... That'll be a bad time. There's my bread. We need this bread out of here. We're getting hungry again. I need to go slaughter some animals. In cold blood. Alright, there's that. That's going to be a part builder, which is good. So we'll put the part builder... Hmm. Huh. Huh. I guess I can just stick this here for now. Yeah, whatever. Uh, part builder. That's going to be two more of these. We're going to need a chest. I'm going to do the chest right now, whatever. Who gives a fuck? And we'll get some more wood really quick. And I should have made an axe. You can use an axe as both a weapon and a tool, so I shouldn't have made a sword. I should have made an axe. Fucking A. That's a waste. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's do two of these. And we'll do two more. We'll do another pattern really quick here. And that'll be that. And we'll stick this with this. And that's going to give us our... Oh, I did the part builder! Fucking damn it! I'm so... Oh my god, I need really bad to wrap this episode up, and I'm just like, her, da -da 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 -da. you know what, fuck this part builder. Fuck you and your fucking ass. Like that. Uh, what didn't I do? I know I didn't do the, uh, the chest. Or the, no, oh, damn it. That's a thing, so we'll do that. It's, oh, it's a plank, isn't it? It's just a regular ass regular plank. 
Yeah, it is. Okay. And we'll do one of these. I need more sticks. Fuck. There we go. I don't know who it was recently that saw one of my videos and they said that my swearing power was over 9,000. It's true. I do like to fucking cuss. There we go. Stencil table. Bow. Now we need to get a few things together really quick. I'm running short on time. What time is it? 34 minutes? 50 seconds? Yeah, we need to... I'll wrap up here in a second, guys. Um, there's that. There's a pattern. So we're going to get a pattern, right? And I don't, need a, I don't need a tool rod pattern right now, so I'll just skip that for the time being. There's a pickaxe head right there. And then we need a tool binding pattern. So I'm going to get two more. I'm just going to tear this fucking house down. I don't even give a fuck. I was like, yeah, I live in the blacksmith. Blacksmiths are awesome. I mean, I am a blacksmith, self-taught blacksmith in real life. I mean, me and my brother, we kind of figured out how to heat up metal. It's not that hard. You just got to be careful about it, right? I was like, yeah, blacksmithing is awesome. I'll live in the blacksmith hut. Nuts to that. Nuts to that. I'm just going to end up tearing this down. I'll probably level this whole house, and I'll probably level this whole house right here. And I'll probably just make a giant house for myself. And I will be king of the NPCs. That will be me. What the fuck was I doing? I don't even know anymore. I might as well just make a dual rod pattern. Who gives a fuck? Uh, yeah, we'll stick these in here. We'll take one of these. And we'll take, uh... Where's the tool binding? There we go. So, we can just straight up make... We'll just, just jam these in here, because whatever. And then we can take this, and we just need... We need some more wood still. Come on. I don't have all fucking day, bitches! See if he's gonna laugh his ass off. I figured out a way to get around his little thing, and now I'm actually cooperating with it anyway. Uh, did I need wood? Yeah, I need wood. Okay, so we're gonna do this, and we come over here, we go to the part builder, and we go bow. We put this for the material, and you don't need to get a tool rod, because it's just gonna give you a stick anyway. Um, and if you think about it, two, two planks gives you four sticks, so one plank is all that's needed to make you a tool rod and a stick. So you don't actually, it, it's, it equals out, you're not getting anything out of that. So you might as well not even do that. I uh, will make a tool binding, parts can be replaced, fantastic. It's gonna give us a stick, which is fantastic as well. And we're gonna make ourselves a pickaxe head, which... Didn't we determine we could do that? Stone, flint, obsidian, nether rack. Really? Didn't I see a wooden pickaxe head in the fucking... Any eye right up in here? Oh, no, I was to make flint, didn't I? There is a wooden pickaxe head, though. It's right there, look. Ah, uh, right, flint. No! Oh, my God, I saw that there was a flint pattern. Why can't... Oh, God, I hate this game so bad sometimes. Hang on, guys. I'm gonna make flint right now. That sounds like you're gonna go take a shit. You're like, hang on, guys, I'm gonna go make a flint. I'll be back in 20, 30 minutes, tops. If I don't return, I passed out from my own fumes, and somebody should probably come get me. There's a mod out there called Ex Nihilo, and it's a, it's a big part of the Agrarian Skies mod. It's what actually makes that mod that mod pack work on the Feed the Beast map. And uh, they give you a hammer that lets you smash shit. And it occurs to me that I don't know why I would use that anyway, because that doesn't get you gravel, that gets you sand. So now that I think about it, why would I do that? Never mind! I'm rambling about nothing for no reason, apparently. Oh, this is so bad, you guys. This is so bad right here, I can't even tell you how bad this is. I don't want to make a cut. I managed to do this fucking video in one take, man. Don't make... Don't make me have to turn around and then take make a cut out of this. I really don't want to, guys. Airbob... Er, er, bob zap Dab zap Well, that's your problem, trying to swim in lava. You're obviously a lightning element. Shit. Why am I not getting flint? What the fuck is going on? Give me the flint, you fuck! Oh my god, what is happening right now? Okay, this is a bust. This is a fucking bust. I just... What else can we use? Netherrack and Thaumium and Obsidian? So really, flint's the only thing you can use. Stone cannot be used for regular tools. It said that right there. Oh, son of a bitch. I really wanted to get a pick that I could dig with, because I don't want to just wear down my pick. Like... I don't want... I really don't want to just wear my pick down, guys. Like... 
Oh, shit. I gotta think about what I'm gonna do. I have no idea. Well, we got the beginnings of this going. Um, maybe what I'll do is I'll just pick up some of this gravel and some of that sand out there and some of that clay, and I will get, like, a super, like, stupid, super easy... No, but then I'll need lava. Son of a bitch. How, what am I gonna do with lava? How am I gonna get lava, guys? Like, I, there's some behind me, but I can't pick it up, right? Because I don't have a bucket, and I wasted my iron. How am I gonna get this lava into a... I mean, look, I've got some fucking... I could use one of these iron and make a repairable iron, or I could make a copper... Is there a copper pickaxe head? Is that a thing? Yeah, right there. Bam. So I can use some of this copper right here. Um, shit, I don't even know. What am I going to fucking do? I can use some of that copper to make a copper pick and use that to dig up just regular cobblestone. I don't know. I'm kind of mad, bro. How would I... These bars, I think, can be melted down, maybe? I don't even know. Shit. Are you? What are you doing? No, oh, good for you. Oh, Surtis Quartz. That's cute. See, I'm gonna have to figure out what the hell I'm gonna do with this, guys. I really don't know. Um, I should probably just keep. I'm gonna keep smashing this till I get flint. And next episode, I'll have a flint pickaxe. But I'm gonna do that off camera because that's just. I mean, we've obviously watched me do this for a few minutes now, and it's just not going anywhere, so fuck that. So I'll be back next episode, guys. I'm going to do a few things off camera, probably, and then come back for episode two. I'm going to probably keep just me keep making episodes to po be posting, because I'm out of ideas for my build spotlights. And I'm going to do this until Xavier gets back, and then we'll probably try to record some server play. Hope everybody enjoyed it. Had no P time. Like, favorite, follow, subscribe, YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, and Twitter, slash Rob the OP Gamer. Peace.